is Charles. He is my friend Melissa's boyfriend. Hannah is my friend. Hey. <laughs> He's like, no, this, this is Charles. He's my friend Hannah's boyfriend. Not Melissa's. And I am going to use him for my punishment because Bethany is an evil bastard. <laughs> He's like staring at the camera. Oh, and they should be Yes, yeah, slam the door. Slam the door. All right, guys, it's Lara. It's Saturday, and I have 40 minutes until this has to be up. I have done my punishment. I literally just did it. I actually did it with this girl's boyfriend, which was really awkward because she was, like, standing right there. But I used, I did not use a tie. I used my scarf, which I tied in a proper tie way. So it's done. I did it. It was really horribly awkward. Yeah. Okay. What's happened this week? I'm feeling much more relaxed than I felt last week because I called Roger and ranted to him for literally 49 minutes and 40, no, 69 minutes and 45 seconds about how stressed out and anxious I was. And now I'm not so stressed out and anxious anymore, which is really nice. Um, yesterday, Olivia and Mary and Ryan and Emily and Taylor and this guy Mason and I, we went to this, um, World Food Day thing at the auditorium, and we got like lots of different foods from like different countries, and we watched performances, and that was a lot of fun. And then we went back to Olivia's room and watched The Time Traveler's Wife, which yeah, is okay. And I just got back from watching Spring Awakening, which was a very, very, very good musical. I liked it a lot better than like American Idiot. Um, I can understand why people consider it to be controversial because, like, the first half was like pretty. I don't want to say it was happy and cheerful, but it paled in comparison to how depressing the second half was. So, yeah. And then we went out to Mother Bears with, and this whole thing was with Claire, my roommate, and our neighbor Taylor, who's on the rowing, who was on the rowing team, which Chelsea was formerly on, and then this other girl, Dever, Devery, De Devery, who's also on the rowing team, and she's like six, and she's like six feet tall, and then she wore five inch heels. And she was kind of like, yeah, what's up? I'm tall. And what else happened today? I went shopping with Claire. I lost my umbrella because I, like, left it in the shop. But I bought this shirt. And it's really cute. And I'm going to try to show you guys the other things I bought. I bought this. And I bought this shirt. And I bought a pair of pants. And that was my Saturday. And tomorrow I get to... Going out to breakfast with this girl, Rachel, that is another Kelly Scholar, and her family, and some other Kelly Scholars, and friends, and that kind of stuff, because her parents are coming down, while well, they're coming west, because they're from Columbus, Ohio, and we're all going to go out to eat at this place called the Runcible Spoon, and, okay, so my roommate thinks that Pizza X, not Pizza X, Pizza King in Muncie is like the best pizza ever. She thinks it's better than Mother Bears, which is a ridiculous statement that does not need to be said ever again because Mother Bears is amazing and Pizza King, as I think we will all remember from my 17th birthday, is horrible, horrible shit. Okay. Um, what else? Emma and London, your videos made me, like, die with laughter. Emma, your thing of, like, this cat is evil and blah 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 was really, really funny. And I liked your post on Tumblr. This is the face of the motherfucking cat that ate my turkey sandwich. It was really funny. And London, you're freaking out over the coconut. Like, I literally have rewatched that like four times because it just makes me so happy to watch you freak out over a coconut. I hope this has been long enough. If it hasn't, oh well. Punish me again. Just don't make me pull any more guys into rooms by dies. It was really awkward. And I'm gonna go. See you guys next week. Bye.